guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on the Kat Von D Pastel Goth Palette. I decided to go for more of a simple look so that you guys could totally achieve this if you wanted to. I know a lot of my other looks are a little bit more complicated. This one is definitely more simple. So I'm just going to give you a little review on the palette before I get into the tutorial. So this has eight matte pastel shades. It does retail for $38. So upon looking in the palette, I'm kind of bummed that there's not a pastel pink shade because pink is great for anything. You can literally blend out anything with pink. Usually, do not quote me on that. You cannot blend out green and you could, uh, you could blend out blue with pink and it would just be like purple in between, but blending green out with pink probably wouldn't be the greatest. But anyway, <laughs> I really wish there was a pink shade in here. My favorite color is pink. Actually, it's kind of coral now. Um, I do really love pink. I just wish there was a pink shade in there. They are all very pigmented. Um, they are a bit dusty. There's like a lot of pickup, which I mean really isn't that big of a deal for me. Are very cool shades. I think this color, Clementine, is my favorite in the whole palette. It's very, very beautiful. I used it all over my lid today. I feel like I won't be using this by itself much in the future. I would probably piggyback this with another palette. I do prefer to use shimmer sheets on my lid. That's just how I roll. So this was a little hard for me, but I got through it. I would love to piggyback this with um, the uh, Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. Let me pull it out. If you guys follow me on Snap, I've talked about how it's it kind of bummed me out that this palette was all shimmers. So, I think combining this palette with this palette would be really great. If you guys want to see a tutorial using both of these like together in one look, let me know. I can definitely do that. It'd be rainbow tastic, rainbow tastic, rainbow tastic. <laughs> and I do think that I would be using this with probably darker shades or brighter shades because these are pastels. So I feel like they're better like transition shades, which you could probably blend out any other color with this. I also think this would be really great with the um, the Mi Vita Loco Remix palette. Ooh, that would be really pretty using this with those. But anyway, I do really like it. I think it's great. I love pastel colors. I love colorful eyeshadow palettes. So if you would like to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. All right, so I forgot to mention I love the packaging of this palette. So now I'm taking the shade Meow on my Sigma E25 brush and I am applying this in my crease. Then I realized I wanted to switch to a fluffier brush, so this is the Morphe M502 brush, and I am applying that to my crease using circular and windshield wiper motions. And please excuse that nice little pimple on my cheekbone there. Let's not talk about it. So now I'm taking the shade Skull on my Morphe R40 brush, and I am going over my brow bone area just to blend out that shadow and add a bit of highlight. And then just making sure that the pigment in the crease is still the color we want it. So now I'm taking the shade Dope on my MAC 239 brush and I am applying this to my crease. And then going back and blending out the crease. Next I'm taking the shade Dagger, which is the gray, on a smudging brush. This one's from Japanesque. And just applying that to my crease. And then I added a bit of dope on top, and then I'm just blending that out with the Sigma E25 brush. Then I'm just taking my Tarp, tarp, tarp Shape Tape Concealer with a flat paintbrush, and I am cutting out my crease. Then just taking my Firma 204 brush and I am blending that concealer into the skin because we're going to be applying a shadow on top of it. Just perfecting the crease there. And now I'm going to be taking my favorite shade from the palette, Clementine, on my Furless Pro 4M brush and I'm going to be packing that on the lid. 
Now I'm sorry I didn't edit out me looking down and then packing stuff back on the lid because I wanted you guys to see realistically how many times I had to dip my brush into the palette, but every time I apply it on my lid it is highly, highly pigmented. So the formula of these shadows are definitely drier than the average shadow, but they're still highly, highly pigmented. Some people might say that they're chalky. That's just because in order to get a pastel color, you need to add a lot of white base to the shadow. But as you can see, they still blend really, really well, and I really like them. Also, I've been noticing my eyelids are so wrinkly lately. Like, it is so hard for me to apply my wing. Which, for that, I'm using the Kat Von D Trooper Tattoo Liner. Guys, I've been struggling with my wings lately. It's because my eyelid is just so wrinkly. I hate it. Leave your eye product suggestions for me, please, because I need to try them. Now I'm taking the shade Star on my e.l.f. crease brush and I'm applying this to the inner corner of my eye. I really didn't expect this shade to be so like electric looking. It's cool though. Now I'm taking the shade Doom on my cosmetics pencil brush and I'm applying this to the lower lash line. Then I took this Sephora brand blending brush and I'm just blending out the edge of that shadow. And then I'm taking the shade Gloom on my Sigma L04 brush and I'm applying that right over top of the green to make more of like a turquoise. And then I'm taking more of the Cosmetics pencil brush and going over the edge. Now I'm just applying a light pink pencil in my waterline since there was no pink in the palette. And then I'm applying Sweetheart Lashes in the style Jewels. So this is the completed look. For my lips, I went in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Lilac Liquid Lipstick. Originally, I had on a purple lip. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you on my next video. Bye, guys.